Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to episode 120, where we're likely going to be using Carlo the Curious and his team to recover an item. They're going in two days. There is another squad on operation over here, that's Roadhouse. These guys are going to be operational in four days, and in the meanwhile, I'm waiting for a supply drop and a, a decrypting a strong box, and also working on a resistance comms facility in the background, so I can make contact over here in South Africa and work my way through that mission over there. Uh, not this one, though. This is something else. Six days, three hours, get Advent's attention. Yeah, that never seems like a good idea. Especially not while I'm gathering intel over there. No thank you. What else do we have? Zero days and twelve hours. And another one. Seven days, two hours. Hack a workstation, find a lead. 29 intel. I don't really know why I would want to find a lead, because I already know where their HQ is. I just haven't actually sent a team in to infiltrate it. The intel could be nice, though. Just gathering a bit of intel. Let's Sending see how I can send. For India. Uh, where do I want to send them? I could send in this squad, Red 4. Has a couple of really good troops, but they're not Alpha Team. They're not Blin, Dirty, or Kaparo. So let's send these guys in. Uh, just not all of them, because I don't want to be spending intel on this mission. If you take out the sparks, it's going to clean things up quite a bit. Now, a hacker would be nice, but I don't have any. I guess I'm going to have to go in with five people. Keep it light. Mm, I'd rather take the operator than the gunner. It's still light. I am not going to go in with a team of four. That is really, really dangerous. That's asking for trouble. If I bring in a spark, it's still set to light. And the spark actually has a decent hack stat, 55. Alright, so, equipment-wise, I think we're quite ready. We've got Tony over here with the gauntlet. We do need to upgrade that to the blaster gauntlet and a coil rifle. Yeah, that's fine. Micro-missile packages... And do make sure this guy has a vest. I'll give you a ceramic plating. Uh, those are generally down here. What was that gun, by the way? Oh, dust. Right, it's one of those uh, sneaky pistols, which I never use. Any upgraded blaster packages? Because I did have one at some point. No, I guess they're out on a mission. Alright, next one. Blackjack. Really good shooter, this guy. Master Sergeant. He's done a ton of damage. The Spark. Currently in standard Spark armor. And not yet wielding one of those upgraded guns. Do I have the cash to go for the top tier? Or is that the top tier? The Helix Rail Cannon. It very well might be. No, the Illyrium Phase Cannon is the top tier. All right, the spark's going to be a little undergunned relative to the other ones. Increase hacking by 10. Yeah, that could be useful in this mission. Can I upgrade his armor with anything useful? Superior tactical sensor. <laughs> Increase defense near enemies within 8 tiles. Uh, he might have that. That might happen. His defense is already 30. Who knows, it might actually keep him a little safer. Then we have Michelle. You're going to be wearing Warden Armor. She was a sneaky, sneaky operative. But on this op, I might need her to go on the offensive. So let's get her kitted out with proper gear. I cannot exactly afford a scram gun, so it's going to have to be a plasma rifle. She's going to be firing anyway. So I might as well. Let's go with an arc blade. Unless this thing has any useful upgrades. A laser sight on a blade. Or an axe, to be more exact. Yeah, not really. I do have this, though. 30% more chance to crit, and one more crit damage. Not bad. Upgrade the rifle. I will take an elite hair trigger. An elite scope. An expanded magazine, and an autoloader. All of that good stuff. 
And then we have the operator over here. Sergeant Vito Mobster, Scaletta. And hold on, where's my other operator? There was an operator in this team with a higher rank. That's the other spark. That's Bauer. Uh, I think it was Wild Thing. This lady over here. She's never gone on a mission, though. Must have picked her up in the black market, I guess. Okay, that sounds terrible. Um, <laughs> what I mean is that I've recruited her on the black market. Not picked her up in that guy. In that sense, guys, don't, don't go there. What did I build you out as? Sneaky killer. Hidden killer. Uh, one concealed. You gain two damage with the primary weapon passive. Okay. She needs to stay concealed and she needs to get mobility. Or she needs to get aim, which also helps. She came with a burger. <laughs> yeah, about that. Okay, let's put some aim on her. Additional aim, 82. Plus, when she moves, she gets another 10, so that's 92. Just make sure that that's a suppressed weapon. Otherwise, I'm going to be detected in the first shot that I take. A scope of the laser orientation would also be helpful. And then, if I have them, Talon rounds. She's going to be flanking. And quite a bit. A flashbang? No, I'll take a med kit instead. Nano med kit. Now she also has a blade, but I don't think I'm ever going to use that. Oh, sorry, wrong operator. This one. No, well, I have the vibro blade. I might as well order her to use it. Helix oil cannon, scatter gun, coil rifle. It's not the most heaviest, or the heaviest equipped squad that I sent in so far, but let's just hope that they can, well, pull it off between the five of them. Sky Ranger deployed. Um. Mm -mm -mm. There's another. Oh, all of these guys are on supply, right? Oh, right. Convoy ambush. Avenger Grenade and ammo. New you thought my material was Peggy, th Peggy 13. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was interesting. I had... Or I did a recording today. That's uh, December 18th for those watching me this on YouTube. And I got a guy um, with a name that refers to a certain Japanese form of comic. Let's put it that way. Starts with an H. I looked up what words YouTube does and does not like. And apparently that's something that might not immediately get you demonetized, but it's something that YouTube doesn't like. So they're going to take away a bit of the monetization probably. So I had to <laughs> I had to rename the guy and constantly talk around the actual username. Uh, let's see what I want you to train up with. Tradecraft, no, Implacable. Oh, Implacable is not bad. Especially considering all that stuff that he can use. Or kill zone. Uh, no. Sentinel. Combat fitness. Yeah. Numerous stat bonuses. Go for that. 4 aim, 1 mobility, 2 H points, 4 will and 4 dodge. Go. Alright. I decrypted a strong box. What do I want? Let's go for an SMG. Rattler. Advanced personal scanner, more sight range, but also this. Oh, buddy. Superior ammo synthesizer. Creates one ammo directly into your mag once per turn with a 40% chance to create two. You cannot reload. Oh, yes. I have plans. I have a lot of plans with that. Because I know of one operator who could use that. And have a lot of fun with it. And here he is. Largazo. So I first need to make sure that that weapon is de-equipped. Or that that upgrade is de-equipped. Superior ammo synthesizer. And back for... Yeah, Buck to Wolfman for you. 
Largazo, where is that piece of naval artillery that you're hauling around all the time? Is that it? This is it. Yep. Yeah, these are not it. It must be this one. Superior gas rifle, or superior long rifle. Uh, what I can do with this one is upgrade it. And I will have to sacrifice one of them. So increase damage by 25%. What is that? 35%. Ooh. Increase critical chance by 15. See, what I can do is make sure that he doesn't have to reload manually all the time. And I can do that by swapping around this advanced front load mag, which gives me 15% critical chance, with that ammo synthesizer. This way he constantly gets ammo, just one round after another. This could help him get more damage out. Not that he's lacking, but, you know, Largazer likes to do his damage. All right, let's pick up the supplies. Commander, the aliens are still moving forward on the Let's recruit the new staff. Oh Taking dear, they're on nine pips. Oh, not nine. Uh, what is that? Nineteen out of twenty. They want alloys and advanced stocks. I can give you advanced stocks if I have those. Uh, I might not. Oh, here <laughs> I might. Yeah, you can have all of those. I think I can already produce the improved one. And if not, I'll just put another upgrade on there. A couple of upgrade or a couple of troops available: uh, Amber Batsy, Federico Suarez, and Lee Williams. More interesting would be the Illyrium crystals. And they also got a whole bunch of advanced stuff. Increase willpower 45, three charges of tripwire, which is not very useful. I'm not really going to take these operatives. Because I don't think they'll ever see action. So I could be hyping somebody up, thinking that they're finally going to see their own trooper into action. But I don't think that they're actually going to be making an appearance in the field. What you got there? Six days, 14 hours, ambush a troop column. No, pass. Ah, mission. Recover item from a city center. Let's do it. How about a plasma lance for him? Yeah, I will give him a plasma lance, but I'm running a little low on alloys. So I first need to get some alloys, probably by switching the research project from the data pads to decrypt it, or not decrypting, but breaking apart a couple of the armors from the uh, dead advent guys. And then I have alloys, and then I can give him a plasma lance. Because, yeah, he, he is going to need that. Any new games for the new year? Um, yeah. I mean, there will always be new games coming out. At this point, there are probably games coming out that I haven't even heard of. Uh, games that haven't even been announced yet for the new year. So yeah, there will definitely be new games. One I'm particularly hoping for is called End State, which by the time that you're watching this might already be live, might already be out. Um, it is XCOM-like, but more detailed. It's a military conflict, and I believe that you're running a team of special forces operators or something like that, and you're left behind in uh, enemy territory. I'm not 100% on the story, but I think that's about it. Alright, Carlo the Curious. We're here to take down 10 targets. Potentially, if they happen to get in the way. That is an Andromedon. And we are then to recover the data cache. The squad is concealed. Six operators. Uh, one building. This is one big building, isn't it? Yep. That's one big building. Okay, in that case, we're going to have to move. Moving out. I mean, we're going to have to move regardless, but 
that means that I don't have to leave a sniper or any longer range operative on the roof. I just have to start kicking down doors. Initially opening them silently, but later on going increasingly aggressive. That's a pretty heavily armored drone. Is that the only thing they have? Yeah, it seems like it. If that's the only thing that's currently operating over here, then I'm not too worried, because I have my spec op and she can take it down without making a sound. It all depends on where this thing is going to move. Really? Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, I have my sniper over here, but... It's going to be pretty tricky to use her on this area. I will set you up here. Because maybe she can shoot down the door and through the windows at this downward angle. Steady weapon. Uh, hold. Covering. Overwatch. Overwatch. Well. I'm already here. Zero. Out. I also want you in Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on it. Oh, it's not coming this way. Perfectly. Good. This one is, however. But this one I cannot exactly take down with a melee attack. Oh. Oh, that's going to complicate things even more. Moving to position. Is that too close? Yep, that was too close. I got busted by the drone. Oh, and not just by the drone. I think I woke up four aliens at this point. If the chrysalid comes out of the ground. Hello, drone. What's your plan? That's quite close, don't you think? Yeah, this is my best shot. Go. Pick the armor. He's ruptured. Dice, you're my melee specialist. Electra, you're the sniper. Uh, you got a 78 on this guy. Or a 100 on the drone. I should have let her take the shot. Should have probably blasted it in one go. Atopsy is very mobile. Dice, how much damage can you do? 14 to 18. 15 to 19. Mm. Go here. Yep, that was a critical. That's one Rocketeer down. Always a priority, these guys. There's the Chrysalid. Are you gonna come towards my melee specialist? Because that'd be interesting. And attacking. Chrysalid poison. Oh, snap. Here we go again. Bladestorm, perhaps? Misses. Bladestorm with an 83%. Misses. Oh, now I need to heal him up. And fast. Otherwise, we're going to see this guy start to take increasing amounts of damage. Uh, running gun. Set him up. Knock him down. Copy that. Nanomedicate heal. You'll be fine. Dice has been out of action for a while, and I don't want this to happen again. So this should keep him alive. Alright, now I need to get a little closer. Let's go, you dumb idiots. That's a zero percent chance to hit. That's pretty bad. Uh, this is better. 11 to 13. I didn't invent the ravages of time. Now, that leaves me with two operators. One being a sharpshooter, one being the spatsnaz. You can't even see the chrysalid. 
kill. Did you see that one? Now you can mark this guy, but I find the crystal to be more concerning. It's not a great position. She gets a silent kill. She's going to stay alive. Target location. Or, well, I mean, they're going to stay alive regardless, but stay concealed. Get him. You missed it. Oh, that's not helping. I'll get him next time. Yeah, if there is a next time. They've got eyes on me. Right. That did not go according to plan. I hope that blade storm and that other thing, uh, close quarters, are going to kick in. And wipe out potentially both. But... Come on. Here it is. Nice one. That's one. First trooper. Or first sergeant killed. I think... The chrysalid's no longer with us. Although the game doesn't exactly know. <laughs> the game thinks... Chrysalid's still active. That's interesting. Go. Jesus. Dice strikes again. Uh, I can also have her go on the offensive, but that's not enough to kill. A shot is only 29. The other sniper probably doesn't have range. Keep going. Good to go. I can see him from over here. If I can blow up his grenade, provided that he carries one, I might get an open shot with the rest of the group. Yeah, blow it. Okay. That did not exactly blow up as much as I'd hoped. Zero. You can hit from here, hopefully. 29. Flush. Let's see if I can get this guy moved. He moved, alright. But to where? All the way over there. Oh. That's not helpful. Ten four. In that case, we'll just have to keep pushing. I'm going. Overwatch. Overwatch. Time to mop them up. Where are you going? Hit. Eight damage. I think he's falling back to another group, so that's where the other group is. What's over there? Let's keep chasing. He didn't go in there. So where is he? If you say so. Amelia, check it out. You can't see him either. Really? Okay. Dice? Trying to provoke that whole pot now, wherever it is. Um, yeah, let's keep dashing. I want to set up an extraction over here. It'll take me four turns. In the meanwhile, I'm going to be able to take out the rest of the groups. Or rather, that's the plan. Line of sight for a sniper. Sniper. For a sniper is pretty bad. Maybe over there she can do something useful. That's not quite where I wanted her, but okay. I wonder if the guy's going to keep running away or come back with friends. Right now, I think he is not coming back. 
yet. Now there's the package. Uh, infiltrators generally have no hits <laughs> or no hacks. Uh, this is... Oh, it's not an infiltrator. It's a gunslinger. Who is the best hack stat? Eight. Probably my spec op. Seventy. Okay. Get up there. Roger that. Iron Fang over here. Where was I? Oh yeah. Sniper over there. Whatever you say. Uh, zero. Oh, that's not on. a wall. I hope it's worth that's it. a door. Hold here, dice. Iron Fang, I also want you on Overwatch. Guarding yeah, that flank. Off, so be Overwatch. For, like, no reason. Steady weapon. Uh, and zero, you're also going up there. That's affirmative. Last pot may be on the roof. Well, it's not one pot, it's two. If I'm not mistaken. On Overwatch. What's making that noise? Yeah, they are on the roof. For how much longer will they stay on the roof, though? That's what I want to know. What's over there? Oh! Hello! <laughs> Don't mind if I barge in, do you? Here comes the close quarters again. Oh, just imagine what would have happened if I'd moved my uh, gunslinger in there. He would have first blade stormed them and then killed them. And by the way, I could have known, because I couldn't move here. I could move there, but not here. Or the other way around. Alright, so the 17 I cannot kill. This one I might be able to. There it is. Promote it. Well deserved, if you ask me. Eleven damage. Let's see if I can finish him off with that. Uh, what was it? Operator. Inf infantry. With the infantry I just brought in. I'm on the move. So I now know that that last officer that I uh, or that escaped that I lost is operating with the other pod. Somewhere near here. If I need to get up to the roof quick I could be able yeah I could do that through here so Wait, let's make I? sure I have oh, options yeah. when I need them I don't really want to get vision on this roof yet steady I would want you to hit the roof from the other side move here All right, I'll go. try not to run into anything that looks alien Hmm. I don't know about you guys, but that door looks open to me. I'm trusting you here. Attempting a breach. Uh, small cache of intel. Yes, please. Oh, not by much, but it's enough. Right, so now we can see the objective. Now we first have to walk up to the objective and then hack it. Position confirmé. Secure the area. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, glad to help. <laughs> Arch your voice back. Always a pleasure. I did see that Andromedon on the roof initially. So where is it now? Here we are. They are, in fact, on the roof. Andromedon, a wounded officer, and a shield bearer. I don't exactly have them dead to rights, but I do have them in pretty good positions from where I can flank them. Don't judge me. Extractions here. Good. 
This is Firebrand. Gives it's me a quick exit should I need one. Uh, Amelia, I need you to keep it working away on the objective. You might be able to join the fun later. Let's get this chest open, steal the intel, and get out. Another small cache of intel, but I'm no, I'm not going to make that one. She's uh, getting her squats in while she's trying to open that box, apparently. Good work. Alright then, dice. I would really want dice over here. Because these guys sometimes go for melee attacks. These are the last three. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Anything that moves or attacks is going to get hit by Bladestorm. And not just that. It's also going to get hit by... Here it is. Close Storm Combat Specialist. Way. Oh, and he's burning. That'll teach him. Let's do a soul Still fire on the Andromedon. Taking him down to... 15? Something in that range. Yep, 15. Sniper, this has to hit. And it does. Good shooting. Impressed yet? This looks valuable. Um, I don't quite have a shot from here. I do from Ready there. Target location. <coughs> it hit the plate. I'm not sure if I can get my officer into a good position fast enough. Well, here's a thought. Going in for the kill. On it. If I can get her to kill off the Andromedon, then the Andromedon is going to recycle, so he's going to start up again. When he does, he's going to be a little bit more vulnerable. Let's hope that this hits and kills. Oh, that already killed him. Now, what happens when this thing reboots? Does that count as a move? Because if it does, I know somebody who's going to want to have a chat with him. No. That doesn't kick in. But it will now. He died. In a fire, of sorts. Conditioning. What are you going to do? Refresh and drum it on. Here comes the blade storm and the pistol shots <laughs> and the counter attack. <laughs> oh, beautiful! And that was a counter attack. Oh man, the dice you make my day, dude. That was epic. Now it's time to go home. Uh, I'm missing one tile. Can I get everybody out of here? Or do I need to stay anyway? You know what? I'm going to stay anyway. Let's go for a shot. Oh, I want Spatsnaz on the roof. Oh, that was beautiful. Conditioning and ELS. Ah, uh, dice. You can bring that thing in? No, you can't. You can bring in the shield bearer. Iron Fang. Hold your position. Dice, Overwatch. Uh, Electra, Overwatch. Atopsy. Kelly. Over there. Scanning. Okay. What are they bringing in? Two of them, if I counted correct. Yep. Could be a first sergeant and a gunner, and they land inside of a building without breaking the glass. That is a classic entry. I have no idea where they are. Because they're not here. They entered a building with a skylight. 
They're not here, otherwise I would have seen them. They're not... Well, they could be here. Right there. But I'm not really interested. No problem, boss. I could just leave. Let's go. Uh, if you got a corpse that you can bring in, you might as well. Just watch my back. Go over there. Double time. Dice. This guy is once again man of the mission. Zero has some great mobility, by the way. Thirteen, yeah. I'm all over it. What's over there? This was a nice mission. The way that dice just kicks ass repeatedly, pretty much regardless of the threat, whether he's facing uh, a muton, it could be a sectoid, it could be just a bunch of troopers, it could be an Andromedon. He doesn't care. Flawless. Two survivors, and that was the reinforcement group. This is how I like to see these missions get executed. Now to see what sort of promotion he's going to get. Do we have any other of these guys at that tier? I think Duke Nukem, but he's more built as a gunslinger. Not so much as a melee specialist. Let's see. I'm always pleased when the troops return. Oh, there's more than one promotion damage. actually. I can't hope for a better outcome. Whirlwind. Whirlwind. If you had a melee, you gain a bonus move. Yeah, that's not overpowered. Let's use that. <laughs> so this guy's gonna get one melee attack and another and another and another and another. Or, well... No, I think he gains one bonus move. So he attacks, and in a whirlwind of action, he just immediately leaps away and backs into cover. That might be it. And Electra also got promoted. I will take low profile. You never quite know what sort of cover you're going to encounter. 10 intel, not bad. But I also get the intel from the mission itself, and that puts me on 97. So, once the resistance comms are ready, I can start to make contact with that mission area that I need to go to. And I think it's going to get pretty pressing because the enemy is still working on the Avatar project. Anyway, I'll do that in the next episode. For now, thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the way that this guy got his butchering done. Dice, our man of the match. And I shall see you next time to see what sort of missions and what sort of teams we can come up with then.